Hello friends, welcome to Radio Karishma uh, with your RJ Khushbu Rolly. Today we have with us a proud Indian who is born and brought up here in USA. She has been in DFW area for 19 years and specifically in Frisco for 6 years. Uh, her name is Mlakshmi Tomala. Uh, she has accounting background. She's done bachelor's from University, uh, Mississippi State University. Master's in Taxation from University of Illinois. She also has a CPA degree. Well, after having all this varied experiences, now she has decided to opt for Frisco City Council. So friends, let's welcome her to our show. Welcome Lakshmi Ji, welcome to the show. Thank you for giving us your precious time. We would like to know from you more about yourself and uh, what triggered you to make this decision, this shift to actually work for uh, Frisco City Council and your thoughts and ideas about uh, City of Frisco and people of Frisco. Thank you so much. It's good to be here, and I appreciate your taking the time to uh, take this initiative and help spread the word about the uh, campaign, why we're doing this, and the vision for Frisco. Um, in addition to everything that you said, I also am in real estate and have been in real estate since 2003. And I mention that because that will be important when we start talking about city council. Um, so as you said, I grew up in Mississippi, moved to Texas in, in 1997. We've been in Frisco since 2009, and we have two children who attend Frisco ISD schools. And I can say that Frisco is a wonderful city. It's a great place to live. But the reason that we moved to Frisco was because we were involved with the organization that uh, uh, purchased the land for the Kariya Siddhi Hanuman Temple on Independence. That land was identified in 2007. And at that time, in order to purchase the land and use it for the use of a worship facility or a temple, we had to get city approval. So my first contact with the city of Frisco was in the fall of 2007 in the process of getting those approvals. We had to meet with the Planning and Zoning Commission. We had to meet with city council members. We met with the mayor, who was Mr. Mike Simpson at that time, also met with the engineering departments, worked with most of the different departments of the city at that time, as well as over the past seven years during the construction process. The construction process uh, is, is mainly where my volunteer work with the temple was on construction, dealing with the architect, uh, dealing with the city. Those are the things that I was more involved in and had gotten to know the city quite well in that process. When we went to invite um, the mayor for the Kumbabi Shekam, he made a comment that a lot of the city council members were leaving and there would be a lot of turnover on council. And at that time, you know, it kind of struck us, you know, why not get involved? The city of Frisco has been so kind and given us a, uh, the opportunity to build the temple here in Frisco. And so many Indian families have moved to Frisco. And I, you know, I felt that it's now our turn to give back. The city has given us so much. We need to get involved and we need to give back to the city. That's how the idea of running for city council started. And, uh, you know, it's uh, the campaign is going on, but uh, that's how it all started. Thank you so much for sharing all that precious information. We uh, would like to know what uh, what is involved in this elections. What uh, does city council do? And uh, as a common man, what do we what do we need to expect from them? Sure. You know, that's a question that I get a lot just because so, ma so many of us uh, live in a city and we enjoy the resources of the city and the country and the state, but we really don't know um, much about how those resources are managed and how we have some of the great opportunities that we do have. Um, so city council is the governing body of the city. Any, um, any legislations that come up, those are voted on by the public, but before they can get voted on by the public, uh, if it comes to that, the city council takes a look at them first. Um, in addition to that, planning and zoning, development cases, budgets, the police department, the fire department, the libraries, parks, all of these things fall under the city, and the city council is the governing body for the city. So anything that happens at the city level 
when it comes to, for example, infrastructure, building of roads. What roads do we need? How much are they going to cost? There are different departments in the city that deal with that. Let's say we have um, a need, need another library. Where is it going to be? How big is it going to be? All of those things are decided by the city. The city is run by a city manager. The city manager reports to the city council. And the mayor is also along with the city council in the sense that he doesn't vote on some of these issues, but he's the mayor of the city. So uh, there's six city council seats. I am running for city council place four. Place two is also available but uh, I'm running for place four. So this year there are two open seats on city council with no incumbents, which means everybody who's there now, the two people who are there now, are leaving either because they've reached their term limits or because they're running for other uh, positions. Now, what are the requirements or prerequisites to opt for city council? You know, honestly, there are no prerequisites to run for city council. Of course, to be a good candidate and to do a good job on city council, I do feel that there are things that a person needs. But really, if you wanted to have your name on the ballot, all you would have to do is fill out the paperwork. There's no requirements. However, um, a lot of what the city does, as you've probably heard in the in the last couple of minutes, is land related, development related, real estate related and budget related. Uh, my background is in CPA as well as real estate. So the combination of the two, I think, is very good and will be very important on city council. Right now, Frisco City Council does have one person there who has a similar background, CPA and real estate. And he is actually leaving because he served all of his nine years and cannot run again uh, due to the term limit restrictions. So... Um, if elected, I think I would be able to provide that valuable input that he has provided for the last nine. So what does regular day look like for a city council member? What would be the day-to-day -day duties and decisions that one has to make and uh, for the city on behalf of city, for the, for the people of Frisco? So being on city council is for the most part a, a volunteer position. So what that means is, in addition to the city council work, you would have your other work too, whether it's a business or whether you're an employee, whatever that might be, your family life, all of those things have to go on. In addition to that, you're taking on the responsibility of being on the city council. The council meets twice a month, every um, twice a month on a Tuesday evening. And when you get to that meeting, there'll be 10 items that are con considered non-controversial, and you would in 10 seconds, vote to approve or not approve all of those items. Well, how would you be able to make that decision in 10 seconds had you not seen it before? So obviously there's homework involved before you get to the city council meeting. So that would be quite a few hours each week. In addition to that, we're here to serve the people. The people are the ones that elect the city council. So in between that, you may get calls from people in the city with certain concerns or certain issues that they want to discuss. So, of course, you would you know, need to, to hear those and deal with them the, the best that you can. In addition to that, there's planning that needs to be done. So it's not just waiting for issues to come to the city council members. It's also being proactive and saying, okay, what is it that we need to see in the city? So they have work sessions every uh, so often so that they can do the planning part for the city. So, And then there's also special subcommittees that form. Let's say that a uh, certain issue comes up and they need some more work on that issue before it can be resolved. So then they'll get two or three of the council members and two or three people from other departments together to work on that. So it is it is very time consuming. And anyone who does this, you know, obviously it's a volunteer position, so anybody who does this really has to have a passion to serve the community if they're going to do it well, is my opinion. If you are not going to put your heart into it and you're not going to do the best job, that's a different story. But really, if you're going to do the best that you can, it, it is a very uh, large time commitment. So you get to take care of all the issues that come to your table on daily basis. Can you also suggest something? Let's say you have your own idea about some improvement that needs to take, take place. Can you also suggest that and promote it as a council member? 
Absolutely. That's a good question. It's very important that as council members, we have a good vision for the city. As council members, it's our job to set a directive to the city manager as to what they what's important in our view. My vision for Frisco is that even when I'm 100 years old, it should still be a great place to live. There are many cities around us that were great 40 years ago, 50 years ago, but they're not anymore. So my goal is to make sure that we have all the right things in place to protect Frisco for the long term. And that can be a very long discussion as to what those are. But very simply, I think we need to make sure that we have some big businesses that set up in Frisco. We need to have unique, small, local businesses. We need to make sure our infrastructure and schools stay great. Um, And we also need to make sure that Frisco is a very unique place to live. Beautiful cities tend to last longer and uh, thrive longer than cities that are not beautiful. What that means is as we develop the last 40% of the land that's left, we should make sure that it develops to the best standards and highest standards that we can. We should encourage developers to do um, great development and not just average developments. And that'll make the city more beautiful, making sure we have enough open spaces, parks, a couple of more libraries. All of these things are very important to the long-term future of Frisco. That is so true, and that is so well said. Frisco is emerging as a very popular name, even for people living outside USA. Uh, For Indians, when they come here, they choose to come over here in Frisco City. So uh, being able to maintain that name and dignity of this city while it's still in its developing stage is really, really important. And uh, what are your thoughts regarding concerns like uh, security of people and uh, those kind of things? Sure. I mean, first and most important, first and foremost in any city is public safety. If you do not have public safety, nothing else that I've said matters. The minute that the public does not feel safe, it's the minute that the city is going to be going downhill. So public safety is very important. Right now, Frisco has an excellent fire department and an excellent police department. Um, They are, um, they are, they're well uh, taken care of and they do recruit some very good officers. So overall, we need to make sure that as a city that we continue to provide the necessary funding and necessary resources to both the police and the fire department um, because our the people of Frisco expect that. They expect to be taken care of and they expect to be uh, feel safe in their homes. Thank you so much. That is so true. We need a well-rounded development of this city in terms of infrastructure, in terms of um, school, education, and security. And uh, I'm, I'm sure the list is huge when we go to nitty gritty and what actually it involves. So uh, thank you so much for talking to us. It was uh, really amazing getting insights on uh, how council works. And uh, you are tra- really tra- uh, doing um, amazing and thought that you had to volunteer on this position besides keeping your own another work it's not an, it's not it's not easy to manage all that you having already two kids and uh, i'm sure life is hectic for you already uh, so all the best to you wish you all the best and uh, i'm sure everybody who's listening uh, will uh, we want you to support her and uh, help us make frisco a better place to live thank you so much lakshmi would you like to say something to our listeners before? sure just want to say one thing you know the reason i'm running aside from everything else that i've said is because i do feel that it's important that we give back and that is my goal is to give back to the people and of frisco and to give back to the city and i can honestly say that i don't have any uh, political ties or agendas which means that anything that comes before me as a council member, I will look at and make a judgment that's best for the city without a political agenda. And to me, more important than anything else is that we always act with integrity and honesty and that we represent uh, ourselves and where we're from very well. And so that means a lot to me, and that is my goal, is to be a good servant of the community, to represent well and to always do the right thing. So if you live in Frisco and you are a citizen, please vote. April 25th is when voting begins. May 3rd is when voting ends for the early election, and the last day of the election is May 7th. 
I encourage all of you to register to vote and to vote. If you are not registered, the deadline is April 7th if you want to vote on the last day of the election, May 7th. So you have to register at least 30 days before the election. Thank you so much for your time, and I I appreciate um, your taking the time to talk to me. Thank you so much, Lakshmi. Thank you so much.